Welcome to Between Classes, the South Dakota State University podcast about jackrabbit life. Today we're talking with Kari Wicks. Welcome, Kari. Tell us a little bit about you. Hey, I'm uh, Kari Wicks. I'm from Nunda, South Dakota. I graduated from Rutland High School in 2015, so I'm a senior this year at SDSU studying biology. With uh, biology, what are you, you going to do with that degree? I actually don't know yet. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, originally, when I came to SDSU, I was thinking like something in the medical field, um, PA school or PT, physical therapy. Um, as of now, I don't exactly know for sure. I'm kind of thinking maybe education or else going to grad school for something entirely different because as much as science interests me, I also don't know if I want to do science in the long term. So still undecided and still kind of just waiting to see what happens this year and where things go. So you said you grew up in Nunda. Um, I would imagine you went to a pretty small high school. How many people did you graduate with? I went to Rutland High School, uh, which is not far from Nunda, and I graduated with five people total. Okay, so things are a little bit different here. What what was that transition like? Like, tell me about, do you even remember your first day of classes? I mean, that was a few years ago, but tell me about your first day of classes. Uh, first day of classes was Monday. I don't remember the exact day, um, but Monday. <laughs> uh, I was a biology major, so Chem 112 was the 8 a.m. with Jay Shore. Uh, so I walked into Rotunda D with 300 fellow classmates. And coming from a class of, uh, from a class of five, uh, having 300 was a little bit intimidating. And like, I remember sitting by myself and like not knowing anyone. And we learned, talked about quantum mechanics. And I was mind blown because I'd never heard of that in my life. So like, I left class thinking, am I going to even get through college? <laughs> like, what is going on? Am I in the right major? <laughs> like, what do I do? Uh, so it was a little bit uh, intimidating and scary, but I made it through somehow. <laughs> So you've you've been here for the last three years. You're working on your fourth year. So clearly you did make it through Chem 112, and I would imagine Chem 114, and maybe even some other chemistry classes, biology classes, maybe microbiology. What did you do to make it through those classes? Like, did you seek out help, or did you just did you do it all on your own? What what was that process like? I at first I thought I might be able to do it on my own. I think, but then I was like, nah, this is not going to work. Uh, so I ended up meeting some friends and getting connected by having similar majors because um, we're all in the same classes pretty much. So I had some friends that were biology majors as well, and we would study together, do labs together, um, also go to SI. Like we went to SI, like chem lab SI all the time uh, together, and that was really helpful. And then checking out tutoring and, and going through that, particularly in anatomy and physiology and um, the upper level classes, tutoring was really beneficial too. So SI help sessions and tutoring was a big help uh, in the long run. And friends, having friends that you can connect with and that understand things and that can help you understand them is also really beneficial. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that the the tutoring sessions and taking advantage of SI, but then also just smaller study groups, because I, I always found that to be really helpful during classes too, just to have a small kind of low pressure study group just to help you out. So being from South Dakota, clearly you have other options within the state. Why did you choose SDSU? I uh, have been an SDSU fan since I was I can't since I can't even remember when uh, I came. So when I was little, I started coming to like fast break basketball camps and things because Rutland is not far away, and so this was our nearest thing for most everything. Um, so I was always a Jacks fan, uh, and then my senior year, I was really kind of torn. I didn't know which school to go to because I was thinking medical. So I was like, should I go to USD? Should I go to SDSU? Um, and I checked out USD and their senior day actually was almost sold on them. Like I really enjoyed it. I thought that they were great. I came to SDSU senior day and it was like so many people and chaotic to me and like I wasn't impressed with it as much. Um, so I was really swayed. I like was really, really interested in going to USD. But then that spring I decided to give SDSU another try. Um, I came to like a preview day and I just liked it. Like I connected. I mean, it's the egg school. I grew up on a farm. I mean, it's not necessarily egg school because we have lots of different programs, but like just the feeling here was more comfortable and like more what I was looking for. And it took me a little bit to decide, I guess, still, but that's what made the decision SDSU was just like, I felt more comfortable here and this was what I knew and what I wanted. Um, so it was really, really torn, but I chose here. You made a good choice. I think we all know that. <laughs> so, Kari, in the, the three years that you've been here, in, in addition to study sessions and, you know, going to classes like you're supposed to, what, what are the other things that you've gotten involved with here? I was an orientation leader for two years, two summers, which was really fun. I made some really great friends through that and met some really awesome people and had a great supervisor, two great, really great supervisors, which was fantastic. And it's helped me in multiple ways. Um, I was also a CA, so a community assistant in residence halls. Um, which was a really 
a big learning experience, a lot of learning curve, lots of stories and memories with uh, residents and, and other friends that are CAs. So that was good for the most part. Um, and then along with that, I was, uh, I've been involved as a navigators um, student organization, ministry organization for the past four years, I guess. And that's been really influential as far as like forming my friend groups and on who I like to spend time with and kind of how I'm even living off campus now and the people that I'm living with are through that. So. And so while you've been a student here, um, I, you know, being a CA is, is a job. Um, have you had any other jobs while you've been on campus? Yeah, orientation is a job. Um, CA is a job. Uh, I was a teaching assistant one year for a Honors 100 class, so that was kind of, a, that was a job too. Along with that, I work for State Tech now, which has been super interesting, and I never thought that I was going to actually ever join State Tech or didn't even know what it was. And this summer, I was looking for a job since I wasn't going to be a CA, and Kate Stock, she's like, hey, why don't you try the union? And so the manager of State Tech showed me around, and he's like, we'd love to have you, and I tried it, and it's so much fun. Like, entirely new from something I've ever like done before. Um, not related to my major at all, just uh, new things to learn, and that's really cool. So um, what, what is State Tech? Tell us a little bit about that. State Tech is the, a company in the union, um, kind of part of the union, but also kind of not, uh, that does sound systems for all the different events on campus. So if there's an event in the VBR, they'll set up the sound systems for that, set up like the stage, lighting, all of those things, just to make it like run, run well. Um, so it's in, we do everything in the union, do things outside of the union. On Saturday, we uh, set up sound for the groundbreaking of the Precision Egg Center, which was really fun, really cool. Um, so we do pretty much everything on campus. And yeah, so that's what I guess State Tech is. And so as a biology major, you're setting up lighting and sound <laughs> systems. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Well, I mean, that's it, it, it's good to branch out and, and learn different things. So, Kari, just kind of wrapping things up, what kind of advice would you have for underclassmen to really make the most of their time here at State? I would tell them that, yes, your studies are important. Yes, doing your school is important, but also don't forget to invest in the relationships that you can do here. The people you meet and the faculty you interact with are really going to impact who you become in the long term. Um, so the whole like quest for identity, uh, you're going to find that a lot in who you associate with. And so make smart decisions when you're doing that, but also like look to them and invest in them because that's how you're going to, I guess, in the long run, that's what's going to be the most influential thing. That's really, really great advice because SDSU is more than just a degree. There are really great friendships that you can build here. Excellent advice, Kari. Well, Kari, thanks for joining us today and sharing your experiences at State. This is Between Classes. Thank you for listening.